Hi guys, Demonic Angel back again. Um, I got a little bit sick. My throat was uh, definitely kind of scratchy, so I figured I'd give my voice a little bit of a rest. And I'm halfway done with my online uh, summer school folklore class. And at the end uh, of it, I'm going to bring some of the things I, I write about um, here to YouTube just in the format where I talk about it because you know when you go back and you research something even if it's a topic that you love um, like I'm doing my thing on uh, the djinn, genies the the basically in folklore so I'm not coming on and saying uh, it's like the 72 demons of the Ars Goetia but you know in popular culture where they uh, are seen as these elemental spirits that um, that roam the desert um, and looking again at uh, the fisherman and the genie and a lot of other stories from is it a thousand or a thousand one nights something uh, it's one of those kinds of um, you know uh, stories and there's a lot of them in that collection so anyway it's it's really neat uh, but it's it's fast-paced summer class so just decided to really get caught up on that while I just didn't feel the best so I'm back and um, I'll, I'll have a lot of neat stuff coming up uh, I'm just gonna get back into it with uh, one or two videos of basic tarot and you know whatever else comes to mind as usual make suggestions if you want to see a topic and I most likely will do it um, so today we're gonna do the ace of wands and for me the suit of wands the suit of wands is uh, kind of the bridge between um, you know the suit of cups and the suit of swords like we got emotion and we have intellect and emo ideas are kind of emotional, right? They're, they're fantasy, they're subconscious, um, they can be nightmares, the, they're, uh, you know, something you do when you're not paying attention, you come up with ideas when you're washing the dishes and you're in the shower. And so that, that's kind of a, you know, a emotional subconscious waters kind of an aspect. And then though, ideas are intellection for sure because, um, you have, you have, when you have a, an idea and you think about it for more than five minutes or whatever, you have to start planning things out in order to make that idea real. So that's really the bridge between that. Kind of like I've heard somebody tell me that man is like the, the bridge between beasts, animals, and the gods. So the gods are you know, very um, intelligent and, you know, they've got the superpowers um, and, you know, they're in, in many times in, immortal and that kind of stuff. And uh, beasts are, you know, obviously beasts and they don't have much intelligence. And then man is really this halfway point, really, of, of those two things. And that makes a lot of sense to me, so reminded me a little side story reminded me of the suit of wands. So maybe that that helps you. Um, so with with wands being ideas, um, you know, we have the aces. This is this is the at the last ace I'm going to cover and then I'll have done them all. Um, we have here uh, the the wand is just of course sprouting. So the sprouting of ideas that are, you know, when you get this upright, uh, the ideas are coming to life. And th these are, see, the ideas are coming right out of the clouds. Um, th that's kind of ideas, they happen out of the blue, right? They happen out of nowhere. And the sky is clear, just so, poof, here's this idea. It happens out of nowhere. And now it's here, so it's really neat. I, I like to think of it that way. Um, in the background, you know, we have the, the fertile green landscape. And then in the far distance, you know, it's got some trees. Um, and then all this is here is a 
a little castle, that white kind of thing sticking up, that's a little castle in the distance. So, and then we've got the rolling hills or the mountains. So, you know, th this really kind of is the whole idea here. Uh, you, th th you know, the, the timing is right. This is the upright meaning, okay? The timing is right for this idea. And, the, you know, the castle re representing luxury and um, prosperity. This, this idea can become real, and if it happens, it can bring things such as, um, you know, improvements of health, finance, a new house, um, the, the, the right house for you has come on the market, and now your finances line up. So it's these kinds of things that are happening to make this idea um, not only real, but pro make, you know, make a prosperous situation for you. Um, however, with the rolling hills and the mountains like we see in many tarot cards, there's going to be challenges because when we, we take an idea, it's not just, you know, it's real. It requires planning, dedication, work, steps, setbacks. And so if you're, you've got to be willing to travel the hills and the mountains to get to the castle. Okay, so if, if you know, this is really all about upright, that the time is right for this idea. Now you got to put in the work. The ace is just the beginning, and it's time to put in the work um, and set those plans in motion. And it is a reminder to make plans, um, be ready for setbacks, have some plans when they're setbacks. Um, all these kinds of kinds of logical things that you think of. Except, of course, you have to be open to creativity because truly, you know, truly problem solving, truly brilliant ideas are just spontaneous and creative, just like, you know, the ace uh, appearing out of nowhere. Okay? So here we go. We're going to do the reverse it, for me is just a situation where um, I usually look at the reversed cards usually in one of two ways and that might be a little bit confusing but what I do is um, and it's not meant to be uh, when I'm reading a the cards I'm the surrounding cards really kind of let me know which of the two meanings I'm gonna take from it or even if I don't know somebody, if I'm just doing a reading online um, and I get a feeling of which of those two meanings I think is going to apply to that situation, there's my idea and I stick with it and I know which one applies to it. But I'm aware of the different, um, you know, the different kinds of turns or that, that you could look at and say, that this is what this means. So this is either the time is not right. This is a great idea. However, you know, the finances aren't right. The new relationship is passionate, but this isn't the right time because somebody's moving away. One person is more into it than the other person. Um, these kinds of things. So it, it's just not the right timing. It was a great idea. It's something that you will, the, you know, experience and you still, you know, it's still this experience that you're going to be seeking. But right now it's not, you know, it's not meant to happen for you. So that, that's one take on that. Um, the other one is that, and it's, 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 maybe it's not just a take and it's also a reminder, okay? that you, know, you have an idea um, and what do we do with ideas to make them problematic is we don't plan to make them real you know we, we, we look at them as fantasies and fantasies alone 
and we're not going to put in the work to make it happen. So when we start going over the hills, over the mountains, encounter setbacks, you, you're just going to give up. And so it remains this idea. Um, and maybe some people, you know, as I've met, they're just in love with ideas themselves. They were never really going to put in the work to make an idea real. So they're very much scatterbrained and they hop from one thing to the next. They don't finish their quilt and then they move on to something else. Now it's great to have a lot of projects going if that's the way your mind works, but you know, to finish and make something real it is a really good grounded way to be instead of, you know, having partial attachments to things, ideas, and not seeing them through. Some ideas, though, should be dropped. It just wasn't a good idea, you know? It, it seemed like it was, and, um, you know, you move in with, with uh, somebody you're dating, and it just wasn't a good idea. Maybe you still like each other and want to keep dating, but the living situation should be separate for now. So you can backtrack that idea if you if you play your cards right and you know make that still happen but you're changing the plans the, the you know into the ideas here. So, you know, the 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 other meaning here is we're changing the plans in some way or in some way this person didn't really want this to happen anyway. Not really going to put in the work to make it real. They wanted it to remain in the realm of ideas. So that that's, you know, and uh, just not willing to, to, to go the, you know, go for the battle and be there for the setbacks. So those are my two cents, if you will, on um, the Ace of Wands. And I think, you know, it's really hard to say what I'll do next. I sort of um, was having you know, thoughts about what I'll do. Um, if nothing else, I'll throw up a couple of, uh, a couple more tarot cards. And, ev you know, eventually I'll do um, some other decks and some, you know, runes. But we're going to go over the whole Rider weight. I I'm probably halfway through at this point. So, well, thank you guys for sticking with me and uh, staying tuned in. I, as you know, I usually upload a lot and you know, I probably will be doing so something like every other day uh, again now, something like that. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.